Okay, I'm going to try this again, and if it doesn't work, I'm just going to make a real video. <laughs> In case you're new here, my name is Julie Gollum. I'm a professional competition shooter and the captain of Team Smith & Wesson, and I am getting ready to head to the Smith & Wesson IDPA Backup Gun Nationals in Springfield, Massachusetts. And I will be packing this lovely hat because the entire match is going to be the 1920s theme. So I'm super excited. I've been hearing rumors about how awesome it is already. I compete on Saturdays, so I'm packing up and heading out the door tomorrow afternoon so I can shoot the match. I also bought this beautiful lipstick because, you know, it's the 20s, you have to splurge a little bit, I'm working on my outfit for the awards ceremony, but more importantly than that is the match. And I am not going to pack a gun for this one, it feels so weird. Um, I'm actually going to be packing a lot of actual carry ammo instead of my normal American Eagle Federal Premium 147 grain stuff that you know I love. I'm actually gonna be packing some real carry ammo. Yeah, the real stuff. And I feel kind of guilty doing it because, you know, it's not inexpensive and, you know, it's for its purpose. But I'm using that in the match because I am actually going to be competing with the Smith & Wesson Performance Center Ported Shield. Say that ten times fast. Smith & Wesson Performance Center Ported Shield. Yes. <laughs> and in 9mm. And I'm excited about it because uh, this gun has never been shot in competition before. It's brand new. Uh, it's it's got quite a little bit of buzz in the internet, and I think the most questions I get about it is how much flash does it have and how effective are the ports. So I am going to be shooting that in the match, and I am so excited about it. Now, before you get all crazy and upset or anything, I do know that it is not legal in IDPA. Yet, maybe someday. I don't know. Maybe that would be a really cool thing if they had a ported or laser or optics division. Hmm, imagine that. But it's going to be a great time, and I hope to take a lot of video and also record some sound waves so you can get an idea of how bright and how loud it is. And it's really bright in here. <laughs> Sorry, I look like a ghost right now. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will be shooting all day on Saturday. I'll try to get some live video. It's not such an easy thing to do because the indoor range at Smith & Wesson is like a big cement box. And so signal doesn't really get out very easily. And considering I have good signal right here right now, and I'm not doing so great on my live video stuff, well, we'll just have to see. But uh, wish me luck. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I can't wait to share with you how well the new Smith & Wesson Performance Center Portage Shield does in a competition. So until later, be safe and have fun, guys.